Hey guys, I just want to check in with you today. Um, I'm in between appointments, so I got a few minutes, okay? So one thing I want to talk about are my couples who come in and they want to know how to rebuild their relationship after infidelity. And one thing that I want you to consider is how much thought, planning, and deception, including gaslighting, goes into deceiving or cheating on your partner. You have to hide your telephone, erase messages, come up with stories and lies about where you're going or where you're going to be. Um, you have to cover your tracks. You have to sometimes lie to the other party if they have no idea that you're in a committed relationship. It's a lot that goes into cheating. Guess what? It's even more that goes into rebuilding your relationship. If you were willing to put in that much thought, effort, deception, and gaslighting into breaking down your relationship, you need to be intentional with the way that you move forward and how you choose to rebuild your relationship. It's going to take time, patience, trust building behaviors, reassuring your partner, seeking therapy if necessary to help with ways that you can move forward. Your partner is dealing with intrusive thoughts now. They're going to question everything that you do. Telling the truth today won't erase the lies of yesterday. It's going to take some healing and it takes more than time for a person to heal. You have to be intentional about doing the work. And so seeking couples counseling, seeking advice from married couples who've been through it, finding ways to reassure your partner that you're there for the long haul. And that means doing things that you may not have considered doing before, right? Whatever it is that it takes to rebuild your relationship and maintaining fidelity within your relationship. Because if you continue to have the same behaviors over and over again, What's the point? If you truly want to change, you'll be willing to do whatever it is that your partner needs you to do to move forward. Now, one thing that I tell my couples is that you have three questions to ask about the infidelity, about the other person, because you can't weaponize it, right? Because it's going to keep it alive in your relationship. So you have three questions. So I want you to think about those three questions that you want to ask. And during our session, the next time we meet, I give them a week to think about it, to write them down. I tell them to write down all the questions that they have and pick the top three. And that is what we discuss in the session. And those are the only three that you're going to ask about the other person. That doesn't mean that you won't have discussions about the infidelity or how the infidelity made you feel, right? It's not going to be a part of your daily conversation because you're going to work through it and move past it. So it's not going to be a place to pitch a tent, okay? It's going to be a way to get some insight, gain some knowledge, and move forward. That's it. That's my two cents. Take it or leave it. It's free.